This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. The average if function follows the same pattern as its full brother, sum if. If we take our sales data workbook and move to the average if sheet, you'll see that we have set up 12 months of the year. And to the right here, we can ask it to work out the average sale per month. So we type our function, average if, open the brackets. The range we're going to check the criteria exists in, well, that's month. We have that as a named range. The criteria is the month number here and the range we would like to average, which is the value named range. And then we can close our brackets. So effectively, it's going to look down the month column, find where that month is equal to one based on this cell here, and then go across horizontally and return the value in the cell that matches the same physical location as the month column. And for January, we have $8.51. And we can then copy that formula down to find the average for each month. Looks there like June has the highest average sale, $11.06. So that formula is equals average if the first range for the criteria to be looked up in, and then the value range is the range you're effectively working out the average on. Now notice that that is optional, the square brackets in the formula there state that. So if we were to just supply a criteria and a range, it would be this range that it worked out the average within based on the criteria here. So effectively, just like the sum if, where this parameter is an option, we can move across here and ask it to do an average if based on the value column, where a single value is a greater than $5. Notice the use of the speech marks around the comparison and the value here, just as we had to do in the count if and in the sum if. Close our brackets because we're not using that optional extra and return. And the average sale where the value is greater than $5 comes $14. We format that, we get our dollar sign. So that's taking the whole column into account and works out the average, but only the average of those cells where their individual value is greater than five. That's the average if function. Takes the average function that step further by allowing you to feed it with criteria to select the cells that you actually want to work the average out of.